Leo lay in bed and waited for his heart to stop hammering. It was the third time he'd been haunted by the nightmare and the second time he'd been bathed in sweat when it tore him from his sleep, panting and calling out in terror. The air conditioning unit in the corner of the room sent out its steady, familiar rumble as it chilled the air. The sound helped to lull Theo to a sleep each night and keep his small bedroom at bearable temperature. But he wasn't sweating from the heat, he was sweating with fear. Theo pulled the top of his pyjamas up and used it to wipe the sweat from his face. A shiver ran down his spine. At first he thought he was still afraid even though the nightmare was over, but then he decided that against all the odds he was cold. It was then, in his half asleep, half awake state, that he realised his quilt was missing. It must have slipped off the bed as he thrashed about towards the end of the dream. He was running. He was trying to escape the... No matter how hard he tried, Theo couldn't remember what had been chasing him. He reached over the edge of the bed to retrieve his fallen bedding and stopped. The aircon rumbled and growled. It seemed louder than usual. Theo knitted his eyebrows together and stared at the machine. The noise. It, it stirred something in the back of his mind. Something frightening and threatening from the dream he just had. A deep, angry breathing. He drew back his hand from the quilt, afraid of what might be lurking under the bed. Perhaps it was the thing hiding in the dream, in the dark, unseen and unwelcome. Theo sat up in bed, leaned against the wall and pulled his knees up tight against his chest. There was no way he was going to pick up the quilt. It was lost. He was cold, true, but there might be something under his bed that was worse. Much worse. It would be easier to make the room warmer and get rid of the noise. Theo twisted the dial next to his bed and turned the air con down. A few moments later, the roaring died away as the machinery slowed and stopped working. With the haunting sound finally put to rest, Theo lay back down, closed his eyes and hoped to return to a nightmareless sleep.